Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a certified personal trainer at the Queen's Art. And today I'm going to be taking you through a playground circuit. And if you thought the playground was just for kids, you're wrong. It's free. Before you get started, you want to make sure you have an adequate warm up, maybe five minutes working the muscles that you're going to be using on the playground. That'll help limit any injuries you're going to be having. Also, a cool down, great idea. You've got the uh, water park here so you can do a little jog through and it right down. Alright, so we're going to be going through a circuit today and there's about five stations we're going to be working at, 30 seconds at each. You're going to get in as many repetitions during this time as possible. You want to make sure you're having good form, which we're going to go through, and make sure you're watching out for small kids right, at so all times. For the time. first activity, we're going to be doing rear foot elevated split squat. You want to find some bar or something you can rest your foot on. So I'm going to get mine in the second rung. If you're a little taller, you might want to go into the third. Step yourself out. You're going to be coming straight down and straight up during this squat. Make sure your knee isn't going past your big toe and your quad is coming straight down and straight up for full extent. Activity number two, we're going to be doing a hanging leg raise. Grab onto a bar, be raising your legs up and back down, nice and controlled. Try not to swing. Legs come up and down. For the progression, move your legs up. You're going to be twisting to the side. That's going to be working the obliques and lower back down. Activity number three, we're going to try the log roll. So uh, you got your playground buddy with you. You're going to be stepping up carefully and up onto the log roll. You're going to be running in place, but make sure you're holding on for dear life to the handles because it can slip out at any time. So you're just running, running, running. You try and keep up with your own pace and rest. And you can also take that backwards, so you're doing a back pedal. Keep running, 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 running. For our next activity, we're going to be climbing the monkey bars. And little kids tend to make this look very easy, but the truth is that it's actually pretty hard to keep going on the monkey bars for a good 30 seconds. So at any point, if you want to drop down, jump back up, that's going to be great. We're going to be going across the monkey bars. Make sure you got a good grip in. Upper body control. Once you're at the end, just jump down. Another great activity is the up jump. So we're going to be jumping up to this step here. It's a nice low step to start. You're just going to be landing. The key is a very soft landing. You don't want to hear yourself land. Stand up and step back down. For the next step, pun intended, we're going to be moving it up to a higher platform. So key is again, nice soft landing. Sit back, get the glutes in there and hamstring involved. And focus on that landing. And slow. Extend up. Step it back down. Step up. And if you don't feel comfortable taking that back step off, work yourself down. You've got the handles and a step. In the next progression, we're going to be moving up a series of stairs. That way you get more in in your 30 seconds. So we're going to start low, work ourselves up, and jog it back down nice and controlled. At the top, walk it back. Well, I hope you enjoyed the playground workout. It can be a lot of fun. You can make it unique and take a partner with you. You can time each other and really motivate each other. It helps a lot. Remember, the playground's not only for kids.